All right, I've waited a long time for this. It's the Halo 3 refueled playlist. It's the classic Halo 3 maps of Guardian, The Pit, Blackout, Narrows, Construct, High Ground, and Isolation all remade within Halo Infinite's Forge mode. So as a Halo 3 fanboy, I have to play this. Some of these maps are recreation. Some of them are actually reimaginings. Things tailored for Halo Infinite's gameplay like this map right here, which is Guardian, has been reimagined for Halo Infinite. So let's play Halo Infinite like it's 2007 all over again. First of all, big change right here. There's no barricade right here. Oh, but the grapple shots can be huge on this map. Oh, the landing pad's so much larger right here. Holy crap. Oh, I fell right through the middle of the map. Wasn't well, expecting that. Oh, but that's a little double hit. All right, so instantly you can tell there's a lot of changes right here. There's even like a jump off. For, I don't even know what this section is right here. What is this? Oh my God, this is a completely revamped version of Guardian, dude. This is really different. Oh my God, he got destroyed. My teammate came in the clutch with that fusion coil play. Dude, this looks absolutely incredible. If you told me this was a dev made map, I would believe you. I can see myself living in this playlist. Yeah, definitely some artistic liberties here, but I'd say it's still rather faithful to the original. Interesting little block right here, right in the middle of gold right here. I guess it's kind of add a little extra cover. Since Halo Infinite's weapons are a bit more laser beam like compared to Halo 3, which had a lot of spread. The range wasn't the greatest thing. That's why I allowed for the map design in Halo 3 to work out so well with the sandbox. I wonder if you could do the gold jump right here, if they made it like an easier jump to do. Maybe? Uh, it doesn't really seem like there's like a spot to kind of latch yourself onto. It's probably what that grapple shot over the side of the map's for. Also, a weird thing about this entire playlist is that it's like sponsored by Mountain Dew for whatever reason. I find that rather interesting. I wonder if Mountain Dew actually like paid 343 to have like a specific playlist themed with their drinks in mind, which that would be wild. And a completely different source of revenue for 343. Oh my God, there's rockets on this map? Oh, we gotta go grab those right now. Dude, this map is definitely different but still feels the same. I'm really liking this. Hey, we're going the more team tactic. We're gonna be jumping through. He has a sniper. We're gonna make a count, buddy. No! How did I not kill both of those players at the same time? No, he threw me off the map! I like this little change right here to let the sniper spawn right there so that it's not such a death trap being stuck on the bottom of S1. Oh my God, King of the Hill on the official pit. Not that weird hybrid thing that we have right now. Oh, the rocket spawn in the long haul. Oh, let's get this guy with this right here. I hit him with it. <laughs> and we got the kill. Let's go. Oh my God, dude. This is just straight up Halo 3 at its finest right now, man. Can we please put these maps into the standard rotation? Because my goodness, dude. Dude, this looks like the pit if it was made in Halo Infinite. Now this map, from what I've seen online, this is more of a remake rather than a reimagining like was listed on the previous map of Guardian, which kind of makes sense. We basically have the same map already in Halo Infinite with Imperium. I mean, it's the pit. This map is like one of those maps that just universally works really well with Halo in every form. Like this was a Reach map that was remade in Forge for competitive, remade in Halo 4. Remade in Halo 5, if I remember correctly. At least I know it was remade in Forge when it came to the Halo 3 playlist that was with that game. Oh my God, the biggest ring around the rosy with that guy with the overshield and we still got him. Let's go. Can we just get this version of the pit into matchmaking as well? Like replace Imperium, which is this dude. Seriously, it's just so good. It's just so good. Panda Evo, dude. Oh my goodness. Oddly enough, it doesn't have the weird little scope on it. My frame performance is really good on this. I'm getting 144 frames while recording. That was too quick, man. My team sucked. Come on. Oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> now, actually, I did cover this map in a previous video back when Forge first came out and it did not look nearly as nice as this. So great job on the edits and the changes. But this Narrows remake, my God, my dude. Oh no, it's going right behind me. He's going right behind me. No, oh, he didn't get me. I've always been a huge fan of Narrows. It's been an, an amazing map within the Halo franchise. I'll always love every remake I've seen of it. There's some really amazing Forge remakes as well. There's a version that's much more true to the original as well. That's you can find within the Forging here in Halo Infinite. Though I really like this Banished version. This Banished version just looks so freaking cool. Right, I'll just clear out the spawn. Don't mind me. We got to hit up the lift, right? Does it still hit the same? All right, let's go through this. Does it still feel that same kind of feel? Oh my God, yes, it does. Yeah. The same kind of elevation and angles you normally get by hitting the lift. 
And we just kind of just keep going through. There we go. And now we got a kill. Dude, this is an interesting spawn point up here. What's this? Oh my gosh. There's a whole area in the back of the map now. You can go up to these little elevated angles. Oh, yeah. I guess this counts as that reimagined, right? I really like that. A lot. Time for some isolation. Nah, I never really was a huge fan of this map. This actually used to be my least favorite map, probably of all time in Halo. That was until Sword Base came around in Halo Reach. Oh, we're playing Land Grab this time. It's a little different type of gameplay for the classic maps here. But this is back when I was a filthy casual Halo fan where I just played the game just to play it. I think I just never liked this map because I just never really understood how to play it properly. But again, another amazingly well-forged map in Halo Infinite, dude. But over the years, I have definitely come to learn to love this map as well. It just plays a little different, you know, than your typical Halo stuff. I will say the somewhat annoying thing I'm kind of dealing with with the matchmaking right now is I'm joining a lot of games in progress, which from my experience is never a good time because generally if people are leaving matches, it's because they're getting stomped and you're filling in the spot of the people who were getting stomped. And so you're basically kind of getting thrown into a losing match or an uphill battle at best. This, now this does seem like a very faithful recreation of the whole level. We grab a ghost. Oh no! Of all like the iconic maps to make in Halo from Halo 3, you're gonna remake Isolation. I find it being an odd choice, but it could be one of those things where it's like, well, we can't do all the obvious fan favorite choices because that would just mean that everyone just plays the same maps that we've played a million times over. And maybe they had like a really cool Forge idea or something that could have been remade very easily within this version of Isolation or something. Definitely could be the case. Or maybe just 343 saw the opportunity of like, hey, we can do a really great job of recreating Isolation within Halo infinite I'm like okay we'll do that one. Oh my god we gotta grab a hill right now they're in a position to grab both of these hills no oh my god it's tight 10 10 and they're capturing the last hill team but we're gonna do about we're all gonna die no we've lost every game we've played so far today oh my goodness dude this remake of construct oh yeah dude this looks so cool there we go not him though have another one off that hill. If only my team were so concerned. Like, I would jump on it, but I got the sniper, man. Get off my hill! Stay strong, stuck. I believe in you, brother. I'll help it one more time, at least a little bit more. Yeah, okay. We're clearing it out. Sniper rifle's done. Okay, let's jump in and get that hill. Okay, well, we didn't save it. Now, Construct I've always enjoyed as a map for King of the Hill, mainly. Uh, I've always found, like, Team Slayer on this map was very just standoffish. Like, yeah, everyone's kind of camp the top level and shoot down on people. When you play it in King of the Hill version, it gets people moving around and stuff like that, but... Since it's like the Halo Infinite version, right, of King of the Hill, that it might be a little bit more stationary than the classic Halo 3 experience, but let's try to have a... Let's try to get this heal. Oh, I got the sniper again now. Oh, I might have to stop back off. Not that I'm greedy for kills. It's just that that's how you use the sniper, man. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Leave me alone. I'm taking the sniper with me. Yeah, that might have been the sweaty play and social. You know what? I want to win. Dude, all about the bottom hills right now. It's the third hill and it's all just been on the bottom floor. Oh, my God. They really don't like me on this hill, do they? Hold strong, little bridge. Ah! Oh, you can capture it down there? Oh my goodness, that's so much better than what I was doing earlier. <laughs> yeah, constructed, classic map. It seems to always work well and everything. This, and plus like the forge on this, again, looks incredible. This is over too soon, the matchmaking, brother. The skill-based matchmaking. When is it gonna kick in for me, man? Isn't it with the skill-based matchmaking in this game that like if you lose enough times, it'll just give you a game that you're going to win anyways? But yeah, this is a Blackout remake. I hope it's more like Lockout than Blackout, honestly, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Something about Blackout just didn't really hit the same as like Lockout, right? It just hit a little different. Oh, oh, what is this? This whole, whoa, <laughs> this is definitely reimagined. Dude, this is a flank route right here. Look at that, it takes you right in the library, wow. Or you can go underneath too. That's actually nice. I actually really like that change. I always felt like it was really difficult sometimes to move around on a lockout. I wonder if there's a grapple shot on this map. That would also come out really handy. Oh, there's a whole back area behind the lift as well. There is a grapple shot. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and there are just a lot of people who don't like me on this map right now. We got the overshoot. We can be a little spicy or maybe not. There's a guy with a shotgun right behind me. And a drop wall I can throw down right here so I can actually peek out around the corner. Dude, I think the person who made this map just understood all the pain points of sometimes what Lockout would experience would be like. And while well, they pretty much tried remedying it with all these different bits of equipment, different routes, but the skill-based matchmaking, dude, these matches are just the most unfair thing. High ground, I absolutely love this map but just like i really want to play critical dew point there's just so much good stuff in this place that like you can't play it all in a simple session because no one remember where the rocket spawn on this map dude 
Nah. Now, if you remember correctly, this is a remake of High Ground, so it's not going to be any kind of new, interesting little crazy little bits of new content. I think it's just a straight up, like, it's High Ground. We get him with this fusion coil. I count it. I count it. It is a repulsor. All right, let's try it out. Repulse my way up to the top here. Got him. <laughs> yes. So good. Oh my goodness, we're clearing it out. This is my freaking lobby right now. These maps play just so well in Halo Infinite, man. I really hope these maps stay in some capacity after this event. Because, you know, it's just Halo 3, man. Halo 3 is the go. We all know this. We all recognize this. Looks like the skill based matchmaking kicked in, but not in my favor. Oh my goodness, I'm trying my best to stay alive here, boys. Oh! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Halo 3 refueled. It's pretty freaking awesome. I highly suggest jumping in and playing it while it's in rotation. If you want to know more about the combined arms event, check out this video right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.